Ladies and gentlemen of the 102nd Intelligence Wing, I'm Colonel Wendy Armijo, and I'm honored to present the first command message for 2024. I'll start by sharing some of my priorities as we embark on the new year. The first is an all-hands-on-deck effort to resume DGS Massachusetts operations. Getting the 102nd ISR Group back on mission is an important step to establishing a cohesive intelligence wing that is mission-focused and wholly contributing to the high-end fight. The airmen of the 102nd ISR Group have bolstered their culture of security and integrity, they have reviewed and validated processes, and they have trained diligently to maintain currency on analysis and production skills. Moreover, the entire wing successfully demonstrated our commitment to compliance and our renewed culture of accountability and oversight last month when the Air Combat Command Inspector General team thoroughly examined commander's programs. We are on the right track. Intelligence, communications, and DGS mass support personnel are motivated and ready to resume intelligence analysis and contribute to the distributed ground station enterprise in 2024. Second, let's ensure every airman in every organization maintains the core values of the Air Force as we conduct our various missions throughout the wing. We must incorporate service before self, integrity, and excellence in everything we do. We must maintain readiness to meet home station mission requirements and to be able to fill deployment taskings in the coming year. As a drill status guardsman, I know the toll it takes personally and the diligence it requires professionally to maintain readiness. Keeping up with readiness and training requirements is hard work, and I commend those who put service before self and go the extra mile to ensure they're part of the ready force. Likewise, we support all the airmen who may be deployed in the coming year, and we're proud of your contributions. Integrity is vital to building a cohesive and effective team and establishing a culture of trust and accountability in your organizations. President Dwight Eisenhower said, the supreme quality for leadership is unquestionably integrity. Without it, no real success is possible. And we must continue to uphold a standard of excellence. Don't take shortcuts. Put forth your best efforts and insist the same of those around you. Excellence ensures we always meet mission requirements and leads to robust relationships with our mission partners. Maintaining core values is only done through shared efforts, common principles, and hard work. It's incumbent on supervisors and commanders to lead the way. Discrepancies in any of the core values will degrade readiness, inhibit teamwork, and impede our ability to contribute to the high-end fight. Finally, I ask commanders and supervisors to support every airman and each other through the immense transition the wing has endured over the last nine months. Change is often difficult. Ensuring airmen move forward in a cohesive manner requires strong leadership at every level. I ask NCOs and officers to embrace the challenge to lead, establish a culture of positivity, demonstrate perseverance, and have confidence in the team you've built. Show that you care, admit your own mistakes, and always, always treat others with respect. The 102nd Intelligence Wing endured an enormous upheaval in 2023, but I'm confident that with strong leadership, we will ensure a healthy and resilient force in 2024. I encourage commanders and supervisors to consider these thoughts as you focus your organizations and lead the outstanding airmen of this wing into 2024. I look forward to an official assumption of command next month, and I wish you all a very happy new year.